Tom Feldman and welcome to this lesson on the guitar of Mississippi Fred McDowell. That opening clip that you just watched was Fred doing his wonderful Shake 'em On Down. We are going to take a look at that song later on in this lesson uh, titled Break 'em On Down, but uh, pretty much the same tune. But we've got a lot of really, really great songs of his to cover in this lesson. Uh, it's going to start off in open E, so we're going to be tuning up, and then we're going to end off in open A. We have a lot of really great clips that we're going to take a look at uh, from Yazoo and from Vestapool. And the front half of the lesson, we're going to let Fred play, and then I'll explain, and then we'll go to the split screen. And the great thing about watching him play is, of course, we get to learn directly from the source. So rather than trying to figure out how would if he have played this song or his approach to the song, we just get to watch him do it. So we're, we're very, very fortunate to be able to have the, the clips to watch him play. As I said, we're going to be tuning up, which in my personal playing is something I rarely ever do, but with him, he did, he tuned up to E and A. And starting out, he used an acoustic guitar and then uh, later on went to electric. So all those clips will be Fred playing with an electric guitar. With an acoustic guitar, um, what you're going to want to do is usually, if we were going to an open tuning, I would, we would be tuning down. And so we'd want you know, a, a heavier gauge string. But in this case, uh, if you have a light gauge string, you might be able to get away with tuning up with just a regular light gauge string. I have on this guitar a medium gauge string, but I have swapped out the 13 first string for a 14 just to give it a little bit more uh, presence. And another thing that McDowell did, which a lot of other players also did, was they used an unwound third string. So this is a 24.24 gauge unwound steel string. And this does actually play a part in his sound. I usually don't play with an unwound third string, but when I was preparing the lesson, I was actually pretty surprised at how close you can actually get once you make that that change so that's something you, you might want to explore as well if you're using a wound third string maybe try a unwound and see how you like that this is actually set up to play slide so we've got I've got a little bit uh, a longer saddle on this guitar and as you can see it's a extends it extends the string so I'm not fighting with my frets as much as I would be if it was just a regular saddle that would be set up for standard finger, finger style, finger picking guitar. Now that's something that you certainly can do. Otherwise, if you have a guitar just regularly set up just for standard, and you're, since we're tuning up, you might be able to get away with uh, just leaving it ad, as is. But those are the basic elements that I did to change 
my regular uh, playability of my guitars to better approach Fred McDowell's music. So we're going to start off by, of course, getting into tune, and then we're going to jump into our first song. So we're going to get into open E tuning. And the way we're going to do that is, of course, our six and first strings are E. So those stay the same. We're going to take our fourth string and tune that up to E. Our A, fifth string, is going to stay the same, but we're going to tune our second string up to that A. Next, our third string is going to go to, to G sharp but it's going to be a little flat. It's not going to be right on. So if you were on your fourth fret on your fourth string, you would tune it so it was actually right on. But because you want a nice open E chord, it tends to be a little flat of that G sharp. So you can do that to get to that marker, but it's going to sound, obviously that doesn't sound in tune. So what I usually do, is I just tune it up until it's matching and I'm getting a nice E chord. So that is open E tuning. The first song we're going to take a look at is again with Fred playing his footage and it is When I Lay My Burden Down. So let's watch Fred play. that was Fred playing When I Lay My Burden Down. Now, as you watch these clips, if you haven't seen them before, or even if you have seen them before, pay close attention to his right hand, because that's where the magic happens. Is what he's doing with the slide, you know, by and large, technically speaking, isn't all that advanced, but his right hand really, really is what you want to be paying close attention to. This song has an alternating bass of 6-4, but in true Fred fashion, he usually extends that 4 so it's not just the single note, and he pushes down. And I am dampening with the palm of my right hand to get that chuck or chick, whatever you want to describe it, that sound.
and he does that on a lot of his songs and sometimes it's more pronounced than others but since we're just starting out in the first song we're just going to kind of cover some of the basics that are going to apply across the board the other thing he does is he he drops his bass out so if he's going to six four sometimes he just drops out to the four and does a monotonic bass as well so he, his bass is very moving very as he wants it to be but the nice thing about his songs as well is that if you just want to lock in a, a alternating bass and stick to it from beginning to end you can do that otherwise you can kind of incorporate some of his ideas as well as far as our left hand is concerned we've got something that he does a lot on the third fret and this might sound completely ridiculous but the way that I look at that is he's going to be doing a hammer on but he's going to start at the second and slide to the third so it's again this is ridiculous but I've got a four-year-old daughter and we talk in terms like this so it's it's almost like your slide is a, an airplane and your runaway is the second to third fret so you're going to come in and pull off so you're going to do that open first string fifth And then he's going to go to that first string, third fret, down two, back to the fifth, second string. So when he does this, what he's doing there is he's going to pick and do a hammer on and pull off right away. which by itself doesn't sound all that great, but when you put it into context... So that's just fifth, second, on the second string. sliding up to the fourth and up to the seventh. Now let's talk a little bit about your slide angle. So when I'm on my first string, I have got a slide angle that it's the slide is going up. So not it's not touching any of the other strings. Those are open. And the reason I do that is because anywhere your slide touches, you're gonna get noise, you're going to get notes, and especially when, when you don't want noise or notes, you definitely don't want your slide on a string to, uh, to clean that up. And when I go to my second string, I have my slide angle so it's down, so it's almost like you're fingering a note, so the first string is open and the third string is open, you're only playing that particular note on that string. So I'm doing the same principle with my slide, so it's open on the first, And everything else, so I'm playing that second string, third fret, and everything else is open. And it's not 100% all the time. It's not like you out, you can, you know, you always get that. Sometimes you things happen, but that's kind of what I go for. to three, back down to two, open, and you can kind of get away with being in the middle of the second and third fret, something that Fred does a lot. He plays in between the frets, back up to the fifth, and again, that bass is alternating 
but then he's going to drop down to a monotonic bass as well, so he's going to go... The only change in the song is he's going to go up to the 12th fret as well, so he'll go... So that's starting at the 7th fret, 9, 7, 9, 12. You can either do 12, 12 and slide back down to open, or you can go 12, 9, 4, 5. Something that, again, Fred does a lot is he does slides down, so it's clean up, but he also is clean down. So that's something that you might want to practice a little bit, is just sliding up and back down so you can kind of get a clean slide on the way down. it on that second string, th third fret, up to the fifth. So that's when I lay my burden down. Let's go to the split screen and we'll go through it together. <laughs> 